Hi there, my name is Cale Moody. I'm the CFO, Director and Co-Founder of Bricks and Metals Corporation, a company trading on the TSX Venture in Vancouver, Canada. So Bricks and Metals was listed on the TSX Venture Exchange. We IPO'd the company in 2010. The focus of the company is um, exploration, junior mining exploration for precious metals, silver and gold in the Americas. Canada mainly, we have three projects in Canada and currently one in Montana, United States. So Bricks and Metals has been listed since 2010. Um, currently we have 46 million shares out. Uh, fully diluted, we have about 70 million shares out. Our current market cap is around 15 to 17 million. Uh, given our current uh, share price. We have some of the biggest names in mining involved in our company, uh, such as Eric Sprott, Rob McEwen, Arbim Capital, Pan American Silver, and we also have management that owns about 10% of the company. Bricks and Metals was founded in 2010 by Gary Thompson and myself, Kale Moody. Gary had come off a previous acquisition uh, of his previous company, Sierra Geothermal, uh, for about 30 million to Ram, Ram Power. And myself, I had been leaving an acquisition of uh, my previous company that I was involved in as Chief Financial Officer, Underworld Resources, that was sold to Kinross for 140 million. So Bricks and Metals has three primary projects. One being the Thorn Project in Northern British Columbia, and that's British, uh, Brixton's flagship project. The second project is in Ontario, where we acquired two past producing mines, the Lang Langus Mine and the Hudson Bay Mine. And the third project is we recently acquired a large deposit in Montana, United States. The plan for these three projects is to drill up Thorn this year. We expect results in the next three to five weeks, and that'll dictate where we spend the rest of our money this year. So although Bricks and Metals is a junior mining company, we do have a resource, um, an inferred resource on our British Columbian project, the Thorn project, of 21 million ounces of silver. We also have a historical non-compliant resource on our newly acquired project in Montana. So our flagship project is the Thorn project in Northern British Columbia. This is a massive project, it's 966 square kilometers and Every time we go there, every year, we drill fantastic results. Um, the problem with this area, obviously, is, is the size and the ability to raise enough capital to fully explore the whole project. Um, we do have a resource there, as mentioned. Um, now we're focused on drilling the Shivas zone, which looks to be the highest potential for discovery on the project at this point in time, based on geophysics and uh, soil sampling. So the Thorn project, many people ask us about infrastructure and the remoteness of the project. The reality is, is that although it may seem remote, we do have an airstrip on the project. It's easy to fly supplies in. Our costs are kept relatively low, given that we have a landing strip on the project for fixed wing aircraft. Uh, the, nearest, the nearest road is about 55 kilometers away. So although that may seem remote, this is the previous Golden Bear mine, we can build a road likely roughly within about $20 million to, to get us get us to a road, bring in infrastructure, bring in power, bring in supplies. So this is a small line item, given the size and scale of the potential in this project. So obviously the key component with any junior mining exploration project is raising capital. Um, we're very cognizant of our dilution. So we plan to raise funds as the market allows. We obviously move with the price of precious metals, gold and silver. Uh, when we can raise funds at higher levels, obviously we do so. Um, in 2016, we raised roughly $7 million. We raised another $2 million in 2017. Uh, so we plan to raise as much money as we can, given the markets. Um, it's a fluid situation. Metal prices do move uh, fairly rapidly. So as we can, we'll raise further, further funds to uh, advance our projects. Uh, currently, we have roughly $2.2 million in the Treasury, which is enough to take us through this season. Uh, ideally, we will raise more funds if uh, the markets allow and precious metal prices rise again.
Our ideal timeline is obviously to do what we did last time with our previous companies and to sell the company within a three to five year time frame. Um, we IPO'd in 2010. We made a major discovery in early 2012. At that point in time, we thought potentially we could sell the company. Uh, we saw basically a five year bear market, uh, which was not an easy situation to deal with. Um, we see that behind us now. Uh, we're, very, we're very positive on the markets going forward. We believe that there's likelihood of another bull market uh, coming in the next three to five years. So ideally we'll either sell our assets or we'll sell the company to a major mining company who will produce, take us to production. We see this time right now uh, as the best time to get into the mining sector, to buy these junior mining companies and specifically Brixton Metals. Last week we put out news where we acquired Hog Heaven in Montana. We see that as a massive value add to the company, yet our share price is not appreciated based on that. So we do see that there's obviously a lag in the precious metals sector currently, but we see this as a fantastic opportunity to get in close to the bottom, near to the bottom, and we see lots of potential going forward for the company in the future.